Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another exciting tutorial to Boy Salomon from Mary Studios. And in this all new episode, I'm going to be walking you through my process of how I even out skin tones on portraits. <laughs> All right, uh, before we start, I'd like to give a big shout out to Amazing Clef. You could check over his page. Now, he was the original photographer behind this image. He took this image and I took it off um, a challenge, a color grading challenge that he did on his page a couple of weeks ago. So, okay, so there are a bunch of methods you could actually go by to even out skin tones on. You know on your portraits and all that but um today we're just going to be looking at the ultimate retouch panel method and it makes this as easy as abc like literally once we head over to the panel there are a bunch of tabs over here but particularly we're going to be focusing on the fourth tab that's the local tools tab and uh, down over here we have um the skin tones button so once we activate that it's more like an action so the first dialogue that actually comes up the first window that comes up you notice down here it says sample shadows so what i like to do is focus on just the face and then look at the um dodge and brown process and all that so i could go to the shadows on the face so this is my focus right now and uh i'm going to sample this as my shadow say i think that works nice more on the rng side and uh next we have sample me tones so me tones i think this works perfectly for me tones somewhere around there and that's good and uh lastly we have sample highlights so you could decide to come over here from you know the highlights over here or uh, just beneath the eyes you know usually this way depending on how the image has been you know lit how the light is falling on the portrait so i think this works nice and we just let the computer do its thing all right so you could notice that we have a layer max that has already been you know set up for us here and you know a layer that says skin tones you know it's uh, a gradient map actually it's an action for a gradient map so what we need to do is you need to make sure that the layer max is selected and uh, pick up your brush tool originally you should have that already selected and uh, make sure that your foreground color is white if it's not white uh, you could always hit the D button on your computer to you know reset your colors and set this to white you know bring your foreground color to white and all that so we begin to paint over the image so right now you can see that uh, my flow is two percent uh normally it all depends uh but i prefer to work with a low flow so let's just work with about 20 percent and see how that goes from here so we just paint just over the skin area just over the skin area So uh, right now you could see that um, we've actually come a long way looking at the neck area here and the chest area. You could see that um, there's a whole lot of difference. Now you could play around with your opacity level, take it up or bring it down. You know, it all depends on what you want. You know, sometimes, you know, you could like to, you know, prefer to do this on probably two different layers, you know, two different steps of your skin tone uh just depending on how bad the image is but usually just doing it once and in a subtle way is always fine so i think somewhere around 30 percent works for me and you can always come back and you know paint change your switch your foreground color to black to erase and i made a mistake and painted over the background here so i could just erase that or erase the eyes you know erase the lips area and yeah that's pretty much it we're good to go so that literally just you know evened out the skin tones on this particular image if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do uh, we have a ton of content coming over and um, be sure to meet you in the next video ciao ciao